Hello, and thank you for watching the Peak 2.0 Virtual Tour. Uh, we're going to explain a little bit about this house and our subdivision here on Hemlock. This house was named for the second house, the Peak, which is a bit of a little brother to this one. All of our floor plans are unique, and we only designed and built them once, but they tend to borrow from each other, learn from each other, and reflect each other. So there's no HOA or special taxes here. This is a 1670 square foot home, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, plus an office. We have an extra long, extra tall, extra storage garage. We build for high efficiency. We use Navy and tankless hot water heaters, train furnaces and air conditioners. We put R21 minimum in the walls, R49 minimum in the ceilings, and we always go for a sub two air change per hour uh, tightness on our buildings, which is about 50% better than code makes for a very comfortable place when you can control the air, filter the air, and enjoy all the nice conditioned spaces. Uh, we also insulate the interior dividing walls, which again cuts down the noise, adds more thermal mass, and makes for a better home. We do a couple other little things like a discrete Wi-Fi hub, and we vault the areas with the common space. Now since we were able to design all these homes sort of together, we were able to do some things like alternating the outdoor living spaces and shielding them from their neighbors as best you can in a residential neighborhood. So each house would kind of bounce the backyards around so you're not looking at each other and then use trees and fencing to mask them. The last lot on the left isn't done yet so there's some opportunities there for uh, some customization. The house itself, if we chop the lid off, uh, is common areas on the right or the east side and private spaces on the left or west side. Up front on the south here is a garage that is a full-size sprinter van uh, in there for scale so you can get an idea of just how long and tall and big it is with a nice loft for storage right above it. The laundry room enters off the garage, bedrooms are shown right there on the left, main bathroom in the middle of the house. The primary suite in the back of the house has its own patio access, a walk-in closet, a double vanity in the bathroom, as well as a shower tub wet room combo. The backyards, we always do the landscaping in the front and the sides and then we kind of leave the back partially unfinished so that it can be customized to the homeowner whether you know they want to do zero scape or turf or grass or what have you. So flying back over the house, heading down south now, we will take a look at the common area, which is the living room here on the left side with its patio access, kitchen in the middle, which has a bar on the peninsula, and also an island for tons of seating, dining room right next to the kitchen. And then here at the front of the house is a office slash reading room, uh, sitting room with a three-quarter wall that provides privacy from the street but still lets in a lot of that southern ambient light. And that is the Peak 2.0. Thank you for watching.